Okay. But okay, so he got really sick and he died. Mm. So he was your first pimp. He was my first. So you chose him or he chose you? Um, how pimp choose you? I don't know. That I would ain't think how it go. And that's not how it go. I don't Man, know. I'm asking. He spent his pimping at me. Okay. And I chose up. Oh, with you him. chose. Okay. Got yeah, it. a man, a pimp don't choose, choose, choose up. I mean, I choose down. Okay. I mean, uh, choose up. Mm-hmm. He turn up. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. And, you know, like, he wasn't no dope dealer. He wasn't selling dope. He was straight getting it from the womb. Mm-hmm. And his name was Curtis Good up out of mm-hmm. Berkeley, California. Wow. Yeah, and he was a finesse pimp. Real calm, real mellow. He wasn't, you know, beating women and, mm-hmm. you know, really calm. Mm-hmm. Talk to you and everything. Because you knew about the game, so you knew what to look right. for, what not to look for, right. and all of that. So I liked him. Okay. But, okay, so he got really sick and he died. Mm. So he was your first pimp? He was my first. So you chose him or he chose you? Um, how pimp choose you? I don't know. That I would ain't think, how it go. That's not how it go. I don't Maybe know. He I'm asking. He spent his pimping at me. Okay. And I chose up. Oh, you him. chose. Okay. Got yeah, it. A man, a pimp don't choose, choose, choose up. I mean, I choose down. Okay. I mean, uh, choose up. Mm-hmm. He turn up. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Because like I was talking to somebody earlier and I was saying for y'all, what you, you call me green because I don't know a lot of stuff about, you know, the business and stuff like that. And I only know from what I see on TV and when I see pimps or hoes or anything like that I, what I do see I see whether them being controlling them if you step out of place they might beat you they might this that you know but somebody's telling me it's not always like that it's not like that that shit is like TV you know and that's where you feel, you see these imposters you know they're not real pimps mm-hmm. these imposters they watch those same shows you watch and they do that to bitches and then give them a bad taste in their mouth about the game because they didn't ran across an imposter. Mm-hmm. But real pimping, real pimping ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Real pimping going to make you a better bitch. Mm. And that's what I know. You know what I'm saying? I was raised around it. And how does that make you better? Because then a couple of things that because I was. Because some bitches don't know what to do. Like okay. I seen a lady that lived down the street from me. She was a big, fat, brunette, white girl. Mm-hmm. And I seen her a year later. She was skinny and she had blonde hair. I said, bitch, Pippin, being good to you. <laughs> I mean, she been on all the whole strolls. That bitch lost all that weight. She was looking good. She did something for her family to pimp. You know, helped her. You know what I'm saying? Put her in school. She would have never made all those, you know what I'm saying, endeavors. She would have never completed all these endeavors that she have achieved in her so life. So hoes still go to school and do all that stuff? Yes, if okay. you got a good one. Okay. It's not dead. I'm just going to look you guys in the eye. Pimping ain't dead. It's just some imposters out there. Okay. You know, and I'm not telling girls to, to go, go out do, there and right. choose and all that. I'm not condoning that because I'm retired. Right. I'm retired. <laughs> if a motherfucker come up with some big old money, you know. <laughs> I'm taking it. You know okay. what I'm saying? But dusting then, them hoes who I'm, I'm dusting them whole wheels off. <laughs> but then, like the first night when you were out there by yourself and you got the five hundred dollars, that went straight I went to by you. Myself, I was with the girls. So you still had to share that money with the girls? No, 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 no. They was helping me, but that I, you know, I went and bought my daughter. But that, all that five hundred dollars goes straight to it you. It was me. It was me. But then, when you have a pimp, you got to pay him or give him the money, right? Sure do. Okay, so every last cent. Every last cent. Every last cent. Because what he does, he pays your bills. He he, he does takes a lot. care he, of you. He, he pays, you, gets your hair knowledge. done. Well, you everything. know, like people like feel like, oh, that's your money that he's doing this with. Okay, but like I got with like Kenny Red, he had hella bitches. Like when I got with Kenny Red, I wanted to be a part of his organization. It was dangerous, but it was exciting, you know. And I seen how his bitches looked and I seen how he handled his business. So I chose him upon those qualities. And I felt And you like had a pimp at another pimp at that time. You left him and went with Kenny. I left Red. him and went with Kenny, okay. but he got sick and he passed away. Mm-hmm. The first dude. Mm. Kurt died, you know. Rest in peace, Kurt is good. Rest Up in out peace. of Berkeley, man, you know? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.